Welcome to another episode of Gizmo Tips and Tricks. We're going to go over the latest features in Instagram and give you a few tips and tricks and shortcuts to help you get around the app. Now everybody knows how to leave a comment on Instagram, but an easy way to mention someone is just tap and hold your finger on their username and it'll pop up instantly in the comment section. You don't need to mention somebody on their own picture because they get notifications for all their photos. Another easy shortcut, if you just swipe to the left, you can reply or delete the comment with one tap. If you want to mention another friend not involved in the picture, all you have to do is start typing their username or their name and it'll pop up. Looking at a brand new feature, if you made a caption mistake or you typoed something, you could finally now edit your caption and even add a location after you posted the image. Tagging people directly to the picture is pretty simple. Just tap on the screen, start typing their name, it'll pop up, and drag the tag right on top of the person and you're done. If you tag yourself, the images will appear in the photos of you section on your profile page. Now back to editing that caption. Say we want to take out a hashtag or add some more hashtags. We could do anything we want, re-edit this caption and uh, get creative. But for now, I'm just going to take out a hashtag and hit done. And there you have it. You could finally edit your captions. Now, if you're like me, you never use the Instagram camera to take pictures or capture moments. And when you tap on the camera icon, it takes you right to the camera and that can drain some of your battery every time you open the camera up. So if you just tap and hold on the camera icon, it'll take you directly to the camera roll where you could access the pictures you've already taken. As well as your camera roll, you could access other albums just by tapping that back arrow on the top there. And uh, we're going to go with this picture here and I'm going to show you guys some new features with the brand new filters. You can see there's a whole bunch of different filters now and you can kind of get a little idea of what it's going to look like with that blurry image. And you could also rearrange them, just tap and hold and drag that little filter wherever you want. You could put your favorite ones first. You could also hide the ones that you don't like. Just drag them right up to the X and you get rid of them but don't worry if you go all the way to the end of the list here you can see manage and you can see all the ones that are disabled and enabled you could also disable them right here and you can see your entire list there are a lot that I don't even use so uh, for now I'm just gonna enable them so you can see what we have come back around here and uh, let's find uh, let's find a good filter we like you could also change the intensity of your filter. If you tap on it a second time, you'll be able to adjust it to see how much the filter takes effect. You could also play with the frames by turning them on or off. Instagram comes with amazing tools built right in. You could adjust brightness, shadows, temperature, all different things. Uh, here I'm going to show you guys the new adjust settings. Now you could kind of turn the angle of an image and you could kind of fix the perspective if you have it a little off this one is pretty dead on but I can show you guys what you could do other than rotating it which is all we used to be able to do before and uh, you could rotate them all around here pretty simple find the right shot you want and you can change your grid and make it a little more detailed and then right here is the uh, top and bottom. You can see it makes the hand look bigger. You can really kind of tweak the perspective and give it a really cool look. My hand looks massive right there. Of course, you don't need this feature for every single image. It's just ones that need the perspective tweaked a little bit. Let's jump in here to the highlights. And the highlights basically will dim the really bright burning white spots of an image and kind of bring a skin tone back or help bring the sky back if it's blown out a bit. Once you're done, type in your caption, add some hashtags, and you're good to go. When you add hashtags, it really helps people discover your images. If they're doing searches for something about hike or nature, your image will pop up on the list. Also, if you add the location, people can discover other pictures tagged under that same exact location, which is pretty cool. When you find the perfect filter for your image, don't be afraid to jump into the tools and edit some of your images a little bit more. Now this image is pretty dark, so one feature I really use a lot is the shadows, and it really works very well in Instagram. They really know how to adjust the shadows. You can see that it just totally took out a lot of the dark things around my face. 
I'm gonna turn the highlights all the way down and then maybe mess with the brightness a little bit to try to bring out that mood that was actually there when I was on the beach. I'm gonna play with the warmth a little bit, which is pretty much the color temperature of the image. You can make it look pretty warm or much colder with the blue temperature. I think I'm gonna go with a much cooler vibe because it was very cold. Now you can adjust the straightness of your image in the adjust section and I'm going to fix this horizon and make it look much better and more straight across and normal. And uh, you can see here that it looks perfectly level. But don't be afraid to mess around with the horizon. You can really get out of this world per se and uh, change you know, perspectives and angles to give it a whole different type of vibe. Jumping into the Lux feature again, you can see that it really helps the clouds and images pop, giving them a really epic vibe. Now this picture here, if you turn the saturation all the way down, it looks like a basic black and white image. But if you adjust the brightness and contrast, you can really change this black and white image and make it pop and look way different than it originally was. looks great now I'm just gonna adjust uh, this horizon because it looks like it's sloping down and it looks like we're done Another cool thing when you desaturate an image in your settings, you could also apply any of the filters on Instagram to double all the filters you already have creating a whole new look. Here's another photo with a whole bunch of different filters after I desaturated the image. Now if you don't want to crop your image and you want to have the entire thing put into the square, we recommend using an app called Afterlight. Now there are plenty of free alternatives but we're going to show you guys Afterlight because that's what I use. So you're going to tap down here on the bottom right and then in this middle section here you can see that it frames it up as a square. You could also zoom in and crop it within that area. Hit done, open it right up with an Instagram and you're good to go. Now if you haven't done any editing in Afterlight before you can jump into any of the tools on Instagram. So that is our January 2015 look at Instagram and some of the new features and tips and tricks we have. I'd love to hear from you guys, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at IamSakura. And you guys really need to check out my brother's Instagram, Mr. Mellow Man. He lives in Hawaii and takes some epic videos and photos that you do not want to miss. So make sure you give him a follow and tell him that you saw him on YouTube. That's all for our tips and tricks episode today. Thanks for watching Gizmo. Leave your Instagram username down below in a comment and we might follow you back. Don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want to watch Gizmo exclusive videos, you can subscribe to our brand new Gizmo channel, youtube.com slash gizmobtv.